I, I was watching a podcast and the woman was talking about her building a community of women where there will be love, there will be acceptance, there will be growth, there will be nurturing. You know, seeing your friends succeed, seeing your friends overcome things and sharing them on, pulling them out of you know, situations that they are in, giving them a sugar to cry on. So when, and most times, you can't, like I said earlier, you can't do that with some things you just don't feel safe. I would yeah. say safe, but don't feel comfortable speaking with your siblings or your parents or even your the person, your partner, whether you're with yeah. both male or female. So that friendship or that community of friends will be there to shoulder you and give you support when you need it. So I feel like it's something worth pushing. It's something yeah. worth having. Something worth putting your time and energy in, and it's go it pays off. I can tell you for a fact, it pays off. So. But when it's giving you any idea that it's nonsense or it does not make sense, I can assure you, and I'm putting that person, that person is lying to you. You need this community of friends or this community of female friends to help you and to be a shoulder for you to cry and be a support when you need it. Because you might not find, it might not be like easy or you might not find the strength or be very much open to family members, siblings, <laughs> And other, or even your male friends, there's some things that are you need your female friends to be there for you, to help you up, to prop you up when you need them. So, female friendships are very, very, very important. Also, when you're in these friendships, you should take time to know if the person you're friends with has the same mindset as you, has the same values as you, and you have to check because when all these things are faulty, maybe you're a feminist and your friend is still neck deep in patriarchy is going to be a problem and it's going to draw you back because the more mm-hmm. you spend time with that friend the more it takes you back to yeah. where you're coming from breaks down all the work that you have worked on yourself yeah. and you're and more susceptible to get betrayed by this person yeah, yeah, you know? definitely because yeah. the, you're, if you're saying a they are saying b you don't believe in the same things yeah so yeah. when if you have the if you have the patience to teach such person or to enlighten them then go ahead but if you don't have i i feel bring it up as a conversation mm-hmm. and talk about oh, it and if it does not work and you've tried and it's not, it's not working then step out of that friendship and still give room for other friendships other in your life. friendships don't use yeah. it as a way to as block, an excuse as an excuse to block out every other friend or every other female friend in your life even as you step out of that friendship still yeah. make yourself available to pour into a new friendship that you find yourself this is a very legit um this because there are some women who go i don't like well, nigerian women they're always thinking and i was always thinking about married that's why i don't have female friends and i'm like eh, have you tried to be friends with every woman in nigeria because that's a very dull excuse when you leave such friendships where you feel that okay you people are not intellectually at par or maybe it's socially at par or you could have different reasonings and you don't have the time to do the work which is very very valid you should not just close the door and be like, you know what, I'm not doing friendships with Nigeria. No, there are, you can keep trying. You don't you don't just say, okay, because you had one, uh, this person in, in the talk about only man, 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 man. You're not going to do friendships with women anymore. That's a very bad way to look at it. Yes, I mean, if, if anything, step out and go and meet people who are not always on about yeah. man, 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 you get. So, and can we also, also talk about how a lot, most, if not all of these women who are always par- parroting, uh, the narrative that uh, women are women's worst enemies and how they cannot keep female friends because of the betrayal and everything. See, these are the bottom, they are most, most of them are at the bottom of the barrel. In my experience, like they are terrible people who just lack accountability, you know, self-awareness and e- intellect, common sense, to be very honest. I mean, I once met a girl that in getting acquainted with her on the very first day, she started telling me how babes have shown her shege, women have done this to her and that <laughs> and that. And barely two months down the line, this girl tried to dupe me of 200,000 naira. And did a lot of other unspeakable things, things I can't even mention on camera. You know? So could it be that she went to a gathering of 
you know <coughs> maybe sane level-headed women and she brought her as come with her and they just weren't having it mm -hmm. you know and then she goes on to tell strangers how women have done this and that you know and maybe they set certain boundaries of course because that's what happens a lot when people set these boundaries they now start looking at the woman like she's difficult or something no look inward go and work on yourself and stop you know talking all that rubbish because to be honest we have a lot of power as women when we come together yes. we are just too powerful i'm sure you know that so why would you not want to experience this sisterhood it's such a blessing i've been blessed with it to be honest like my female friendships have equipped me with the necessary support and you know developmental experiences that i've needed to challenge uh, uh, patriarchal structures yeah they have equipped me so much like my babes have taught me a lot of things women on the net have taught me a lot of things you know? and you've taught them equally yes and i've taught them equally because ah please we are too blessed and when we come together like this we make a change it's dynamite we yeah. make a change in society so i really wish that you'd experience it and let's go of that uh, notion that women are terrible and they don't make good friends if anything we make really great friends to be very honest yeah so, piggybacking on what diogo said and what she also <laughs> said you know like you said female friendships are very 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 powerful there are um there are okay let's talk about the suffragists let's talk about about women's rights when women come together changes occur and i think men know know this society also knows this that yep. is why they try to alienate women that is why they try to keep women apart that is why they try you know all those small small lies there men are like this and women don't get along together women this because they know that when women come together and have these unions and have a presence of mind to get something yeah, they get it is is yeah, very you force. force do you understand like if the suffragettes i think they started from okay meeting in somebody's houses in somebody's house mrs a's house this widow's house okay two people meet there three people meet there five 10 15 and from there it blows something to what we have now we, you know there's became radical they demanded for their rights started demanding the right, rights to vote the right to be treated as human beings all what we are enjoying now are in one way or the other offshoots of what they did all what we women are enjoying now offshoots of what they did and it would never have happened if those women were saying oh i don't get along with women i don't want female friendships anything that has women da, 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 da. no so i think we have to understand how powerful we are like the about women riot it started from women coming together, discussing. Then it became an idea. It became a, a, a movement. It's not if you were alone in your house thinking, "Oh, I have a bad." Another woman is thinking, "Oh, I have a bad." But both of you think, "I don't like female friendships." No idea will be formed. No movement will be formed. So I, we have to understand that when women come together, is a force. And like Diogo said, those of you that do male friendships, male, I'm um, one of the guys. There are things you would not be comfortable to talk to your men about, to talk to your male friends about. Women literally save women's life. I know women who have saved their friends' life from abusive marriages, from abusive relationships. I know of a friend, I'm not going to name her. She and two of her friends went to their married friend's house. She was being abused. The married friend was being abused by her husband, you know, mm. beating her every time. They went, the husband shut the door. These women, and all of them are married though, they jumped fence, entered um, this lady's house, they were packing her stuff, throwing. This person packed through, you know, like they do in cartoons, give this person, they throw over the fence, throw over the fence, and hijacked their friend out of that. And that was how that marriage ended. If not for this particular women and their friendship and whatever, that lady would still be there. My husband is beating me. Husband, sometimes it takes your friends, your female friends, to come and draw yes, you out. They give you that nod, exactly. That push. That push. And there are some situations you'll be too ashamed to discuss with your parents, your mother, your father, even your male friend. Your male friend cannot come and save you from this type of situation. Hmm. Because if he steps in, it will be like, why is your friend coming to talk to me about our marriage issue? It's like you're having sex with your friend and it will become another thing your male friend cannot step in in this type of situation to come and say oh god my friends say you are beating her mm -mm. sometimes these male friends are even the ones that preach peace exactly uh, you because don't... they see them most times they see themselves in these men exactly fellow men they... yes they tell please forgive mm. uh, this Do, uh, just try and just uh -huh. try you know so when you're saying when when you say you don't have women would literally save your lives there are situations where you are you might even be in one now that what you need might not necessarily be prayers or help but a group of women 
and you will not know it because you don't have it. Yeah. Personally, when I started my business, the loan I got to start my, uh, start my business was given to me by my friends. I got 10 naira from this person, 20 naira from this person, 5 naira from this person. And because I didn't, if I didn't have these three women in my life as at that time, I would not have gotten the money, the required money I had, plus the seed money I already had to start my business. Imagine going to a man for that kind of money. Okay, please give me money. I want to start business or going to three men. They will want something in exchange. It is what it is. There, there, and one thing you have to understand with your male friends that you know you people parrot every time is all it takes is one one minute of funniness for them to throw that friendship away. Down the drain. Down the drain. That's all it takes is just one minute. Like I, I keep on telling this story to anybody who, who cares to listen. In 20, I had a friend from 20, 2008 to 2016, eight years friendship. And I went, we've been, you know, very good platon platonic friends. A guy was in his final year medicine at that time. We were very good friends for eight good years. Platonic friends, he had slept over at my place. I had slept over at his place several times. My sister knows him because whenever she comes to visit me in school, we would go to their place and all of that. You know, we had a clique. It wasn't just me and him. We had a clique of friends. And... When I came for my final clearance and we were told we we're going to have to sleep over because we need, we need to come back the following morning. I said, okay, you know what? Why not sleep over? At, I had slept over at his house before. And that very night, he tried to rape me. I was begging. I was pleading with him from midnight till around five in the morning when I had to leave. And what he kept on telling me was, eh, if, yeah, well, he's not a man if he doesn't sleep with a woman that came to his house. And I'm like, but this has never happened before. It is a friendship. This has never, we've had a hundred percent platonic not even peace or peck a hundred percent platonic relationship a hundred percent platonic friendship and he, you understand you realize it dawns on you that man, what he told me was if i keep on protesting or shouting that if i shout nobody would hear me which is true because the doors were really soundproof and he said that if i should keep on protesting he was going to throw me out of his house in the middle of the night so i was on the street will now have that thing i'm trying to hide from him and it dawned on me that that, that is it it dawned on me that men will sell you out at, like at the slightest just because yes. of one second of pleasure and i had to just comport myself till i left there i begged and begged and begged, you know kept on sw swatting hands till morning and that was how that friendship died immediately i left there i did that his number and i've not spoken to him to today he has made several attempts to contact me talk to my sister uh, message me on facebook uh, the other city message me on facebook everything and i have ne i will never talk to him because you realize that eight years of friendship means nothing to this man simply because he had one minute of funniness. And this is how it is. Men, all this year, oh, my male friend is this. My male, all it takes is one day. It might not be now, it might be next five years. All it takes is just one day. And there is also this thing that, you know, where when they do, they say, oh, I'm falling in love with you, da 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 da. da. And if you don't reciprocate, if you're not at that place, it's nice. I'm not saying it's wrong for you to fall in love with your male friends, but if you're not at that place, because most of what the untold story is, they don't tell you when they say, oh, we were best friends and we fell in love. Is There are a lot of male best friends, male besties that feel something for the female besties along the line. And the female besties, aren't, you know, they, they're, not, they're not having it. What that happens, it becomes a problem. The man is going to, that's the end of that friendship. He's going to complain he was friend zone. People are not going to, you're going to lose that friendship. You're going to lose that relationship and okay let's even assume that okay both of you are at the same place and you guys eventually date if it doesn't work out well that friendship is gone that relationship is gone the only time it is okay if it works out well and that's even in one percent so i think that at the end of the day you find out that what you're doing with men one day that his people stand up it will just destroy that people's long friendship he will sacrifice your friendship at the altar of his desire uh, so you have to understand. But, and this is something that will never happen with women. Women can, you know, you can, even if you're a lesbian, you stay with your female friend and throw your leg and you're at least assured that nobody's going to be groping you. Yes. Or, you, know, you know, I, at the end of the day, it's not even something that you can compare. Yes, we all have our coins, coins. We're all humans. Man, women, we, we, but we, we shouldn't just make it a female thing when two friends fall out. Men also fall out. Men fight. Alberos fight. Conductors fight. Uh, person every single kill day. Kill themselves. They kill them. Men, men uh, start uh -huh. wars. Thank you. Go and watch John Wick. Men kill themselves <laughs> over useless things. Very but you know, but when women have their own scorn, scorn, oh, women. Are so you have to understand that is not enough reason for you not to want female friendships. At the place you are in your life, you might need. It might be what will save you. So you need to cultivate female friendships. Give women the same grace you give men. And and that is it. That is what we have for today. Yes, please. And as you do this, you really, really have to 
be someone who does not lack self-introspection yeah because i mean you cannot give what you don't have definitely please don't expect what you cannot give you know you have to work on yourself you know and when you when you get into these circles with other women you try not to be scum Mm -hmm. please Mm -hmm. yeah (laughs) you know treat them with yeah i see point to them i see them i see when maybe maybe two friends are buying stuff for them so you see people people going god when and and one of my friends would be like um they all this for asking god when how many people have you bought exactly exactly you understand how many times have you tried to help your female friend financially mm-hmm. send them money just mm-hmm. because the way you send your boyfriend calls, you know, you know, calls. calls and texts and you see them saying we don't talk well any day we talk that's not how you do your Please. male friends exactly you- <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because i've had someone literally tell me that she took away an opportunity that would have changed my life for the better all because of some hearsay that I had nothing to do, mm-hmm. you know. And I saw her posting on her status. Uh, she posted some girl that her friends uh, contributed to get her some things, really nice, expensive things for her birthday, even a paid vacation. And she was like, eh, "I'm beginning to believe women are women's worst enemies. This one and that one. That she has never had friends do this for." Who her. is she trying to emotionally blackmail? Exactly. Who, have you done this for somebody before? How are you treating your female friends? How did you treat? How did? What did you do to me? Yeah. You know. And what are you expecting from others? What are you giving out and what are you expecting? Mm-hmm. Please, let's be for real. <laughs> ah, <this laughs> so, you know. well, let's be serious here. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything to add, Diogo? Yeah, I think you, both, you all said uh, excellent things. So just try as much as possible to pour into your your female friendships. Be intentional about them. Yeah. Uh, you know, when other people, you, you won't find it weird. When other people are reaping from what exactly, they exactly, exactly. And they don't even because, like you said, everyone, every woman needs. Yeah. Even though you think you don't want it, you need. You need it. it. You need it. Some of you, I mean, some of us, let me, because I'm a woman. Some of us, we just we water our male friendships, water our romantic relationships, but mm-hmm. leave our normal female friendships. You expect it to grow on its own. Mm-hmm. You expect it to, you know, you don't water it the way you water this one, and it's not. It can't. It can it never be the like same. That. It doesn't work no. like that. So shout out to women. Yeah, shout out to shout all of us. Shout out to sisterhood. Yeah, <laughs> go get a female friend today. Today, go, go, go. <laughs> don't sleep so, on it. <laughs> so I think that's the end of our episode. And thank you for watching. I hope you've learned a thing or two. And please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave us a comment. Thank you. Yeah, we'll thank see you, you on our next episode. Bye. Bye.